Good morning, Geoffrey Blaney, Bill Thompson for uh, Outside There ABC. I, I heard you're going to be talking with John Fain later yes, this morning. Good morning, I am. Mate, um, I, I've, uh, I came to Australia when I was 14 in 1963. Yeah, where's uh, your hometown? Uh, well, I was born in America. My dad was a US soldier and my yeah. mother was uh, an Aussie war bride from yeah. Newcastle. So um, it's a long story, but um, I, I've lived and paid, worked and paid taxes in Australia for 45 years. Yeah. Uh, some of which went towards uh, supporting people of lesser means, including may I say, uh, the, the disadvantaged Aboriginal communities yeah. around Australia. And here we are, 45 years later, and we're still, there's still some people who say we're not doing enough yeah. for the disadvantaged Aboriginal people. My view is that no one living in Australia today should be entitled to any special acknowledgement or recognition or benefit based solely on the fact that their ancestors were here before mine. Do, do you think that's a, an unreasonable proposition? No, no, I think, uh, I think uh, it's legitimate to have a debate on every average question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, in, all, uh, in all important topics, the arguments uh, are not 100 to naught. I, I agree. <laughs> the arguments, you know, maybe 60 to 40, sometimes they're 51 to 49. And they, Indeed. And they change sides so that uh, my view is that uh, there should be more argument, not less on Aboriginal issues, uh, that's, that's my view. Now, as, as a historian, um, I, I, I do uh, street interviews with yeah. interesting people, and you're, you're the most interesting person I've ever spoken to, yeah, actually. Um, we've had eight years of uh, smart diplomacy with Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton and John Kerry. Uh, do you think there's any place in the world now that's safer and more tranquil uh, after eight years of the smart diplomacy, uh, or uh, do you think that things are a little bit um, unfortunate at present? Yeah. I think uh, I mean, I'm, I'm old, so uh, yeah. my memory goes back a long way. Uh, I, I think that uh, the present situation, worrying as it is to people, yes. uh, is, is, is far from the worst situation the world has been I, in I agree. since 1945. Indeed. And uh, when you think, for example, of the Cuban Missile Crisis in uh, 1962, and yes. the number of people who uh, feared world war, here were the two great powers side by side, yes. and the danger of a missile hitting New York. Mate, I was living on the eastern shore of Maryland at that time, yeah. uh, and uh, neighbours had bomb shelters uh, in their backyards. Built, built them? And, so, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, so this was the environment that I grew up in, in yeah. the Cold War, the depths yeah. of the Cold War. Yeah, so that as far as we know at present, there's nothing in the present situation anywhere in the world that can match that crisis or some of the other fears of the 50s, 60s and 70s. We'll see what happens with Iran and their... We don't, uh, we don't know what will happen next. Indeed. But, Mate, uh, look, uh, I very much appreciate you uh, stopping and having a chat. May yeah. I change hands and, and shake your hand? Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Nice you. Good on you. I hope it goes well with John. Yes. Don't let him browbeat you, mate.